While some people watch programs on broadcast television, more watch their phone, tablet, or laptops. Let's learn about streaming. What are you watching? Some science check. Hey, how does everybody get to your phone? I'm not sure how it works. Let's find out. When you watch broadcast television, your TV is getting a digital signal over the air or through a cable or satellite. But to get video and sound onto your phone, tablet, laptop, or streaming device on your television, it takes the internet. And to understand the internet, you have to step back in time. Before computers, before television, before radio. Who was that with the deep boy? Him spells the name, Professor Alexander Graham Bell. In 1876, Bell invented the telephone, and the first words spoken over the new invention were... Mr. Watson. Mr. Watson. Come here, I want you. Mr. Bell. Mr. Bell. Mr. Bell. every word you said distinctly. You were perfectly clear. I, I, I recognized your voice. You said, Mr. Watson, come, come here. here. I want, I want you. you. <laughs> 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 you Eventually, telephone wires connected the world. And as computers were invented, they used those telephone lines to send data. The internet was created in 1969 when scientists from four American universities tied together their computers to share data. The internet is a worldwide connection of computers all sharing data. About the same time, wireless networks were invented, so data could be moved through the airwaves. Wait, I just want to know how I stream my program to my phone. OK, let's ask an engineer. Dave Starkey is a system performance engineer for Verizon Wireless. He says it starts with a special app or program on your device. So basically when you click the app on your device, the app will then communicate to the server and it'll say, okay, this user wants to watch this movie and then the content server and your phone, a data pipe will be connected over the internet, over the network, whether it's a cellular or public inter internet or Wi-Fi, And then that movie, uh, data stream will start streaming, per se, from the server of where the, the content is being uh, kept to your device. A pipe? Okay, it's not an actual pipe. It's either a cable, a phone line, or if wireless over a wireless phone connection or Wi-Fi, then it's radio waves. Okay, then why does the video sometimes stop and I get that circle thing? Well, when the video stops, there can be a problem. At the provider's server, the data's not getting out, or the pipe from the provider is clogged, too much data is being sent, or the pipe from your device isn't big enough to get all the data at once, or your device isn't processing the data right. Your device is set to where if there's a gap in the, in, in the clip or, or just stops, it'll try to buffer, it'll wait, it's a pause effectively for your device to, to retrieve the rest of the information that it's waiting for. So in, in this video stream, there's uh, uh, effectively uh, checks, you know, as we go along. And, and if certain checks aren't, aren't, aren't received, you get that buffering process. Is there a difference between streaming and downloading? Yes, downloading is where you would download the data or the content to your phone and it gets stored on your device and you can watch it there and then you just delete it when you're done so you don't you know, fill up your phone. Streaming, you have to have an internet connection. It's a constant back and forth from your device to the server where the content is being held. It's a, it's a constant back and forth. What's the difference between television and streaming? Well, bro broadcast television, um, there's a set program schedule. You know, I know that, you know, this show is on at eight in the morning. If I don't watch it, that show at eight o'clock in the morning, I don't get to see it. Now with streaming, it gives you that on-demand option where I don't have to be tied to my house or I don't have to be tied to a particular schedule. And that's one of the benefits about streaming. You can kind of watch things where you want, when you want. Streaming is great that you can, you can pretty much take it with you. You can watch it 
when you want it, where you want it, but it's also important you put the phone down and enjoy the life that you have. He's right. Okay, basketball, skating, let's go. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org.